Assalamu alaikum guys once again welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel with the series of 200 technical terms for civil engineers so this is the part 5 of 200 technical terms series if you didn't watch the part first second third and fourth so the link is in the description of this video or at the end of this video you will see fourth part of this video let's start guys the video is very helpful and for every civil engineer it's important to watch from start to end especially for those students which are working on construction site or especially for to ready yourself for interview so you should remember these points let's start guys topic is 200 technical terms for civil engineers part 5 the 41 term is I will get start from 41 to 50 and next video part 6 I will get start from 51 to 60 the term number 41 is related with concrete technology vibration and freshly made concrete as you know guys we are using vibrating machine and fresh concrete during construction of slab during construction of uh, beam during construction of column sometime uh, we uh, blouse a steel rod are vibrating in the uh, construction of uh, steel structure especially so why we are using vibrating machine vibrator what's the reason behind this so guys vibration and freshly made concrete is done so we do vibrating machine and fresh concrete to remove the air and bubbles and concrete mix because if uh, we don't remove the air so it will make pores holes in concrete so you will not get the full strength of rcc structure and also bubbles so bubble can be also made of air so therefore we are using vibrating machine in freshly concrete or in fresh concrete the 42 term is related with RCC column. Starter and column thickness. As you know, we provide starter and RCC column on which we fix the farm work or shuttering of column. It will give you a good result when we have starter at the base of the column. So starter and column thickness should not uh, should be between 100 to 200 mm or 2 to 4 inches starter you can see the picture this is the picture of starter guys the 41 term is related with steel that is lapping of steel bar should not be provided should not be provided so spelling mistake should not be provided at the end of the support as you know we provide lapping length especially of steel bar for insufficient length of steel bar if we require more length of steel bar as you know from the factory we have the standard length of bar that is 12 meter so if we want to increase the length of steel bar so there we will provide lapping length so remember where we can provide the lapping length so i've already discussed about this topic the link is in the description of this video where is the correct place to provide lapping length but i will tell you in term number 43 that lapping length where we overlap one steel bar to another so that should be not provided at the end of the support so end of the support is column r wall or beam on the top beam okay so lapping length should not be provided at the end of the support and also at the mid right so guys the term number 44 is use 50d formula 50d where d is die of steel bar which you are using for main bars or distribution bar or longitudinal bar and tension member or in compression member so the d should be the dia of that steel and we will multiply it with 50 it will give the it will give us lapping length so that should be the uh, correct lapping length for steel bar if that is tension or compression no problem but it should not be less than 50 d this is the term number 44 
Now guys, the term number 45 related with RCC column. RCC column legs should be bend with 90. Okay, how? Oh, so sorry, not with bend. Okay, so the RCC column legs should be uh, should be with 90. Okay, where we can get is you know this is longitudinal bar, this is the other longitudinal bar, this leg length, this leg, also this one, which we provide on the on the footing. Okay, especially in footing like this. Let me make as you know this is footing. So these are steel bars main bars and also distribution bars and footing okay sorry for this okay so this is one column okay so the footing the legs will be same like this like this okay these are steel bars okay so the legs should be with 90 where we can get the length of legs but the legs should be provide for rcc column especially in foundation guys the term number 46 is water cement ratio should be between 0 0.45 percent to 0 0.6 percent of volume of concrete okay water cement ratio okay so it's depend on the cement so uh, the water cement ratio should be between 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 percent it's also depend on the uh, different grade of concrete guys the 41 term is if the steel bar doesn't have ring how what is ring you can see this is a steel bar and if you if there isn't rings on the steel bar you can see so the ring should be proper okay so if there is any problem uh, in the rings okay you can see it make a good bond between steel and concrete so if the ring is not proper improper or if there isn't any ring on the surface of the steel bar so don't use that steel for building construction so the ring should be proper and the ring should be present on the surface of the steel bar guys the other one is uh, term number 48 development length so what is development length guys let me discuss development length you can see development length should be provided in top beam and also in plane beam you can see guys this is a steel bar bar and this is the other steel bar so here guys uh, you can see here we have a column okay so this is a column so this development length this is called development length and this is the other one like this okay so development length should be provided same like this okay so guys this is called ld development length and top beam and also in plane beam because if you don't provide development length and top beam and also in plane beam so it cannot make a good bond between steel and concrete so it cannot slip so therefore development length should be provided in plane and also in top beam okay very important topic development length the term number 49 is the washroom slab should not be less than seven feet otherwise you will face problem when you are uh, when you get bath and washroom so uh, like this so there you will face something wrong okay so therefore uh, the minimum height of the washroom should not be less than seven feet okay seven should be uh, it must be seven feet okay so you should not decrease the height of uh, from the height of seven feet guys the term number 50 is related also with concrete so concrete should be used within 30 minutes to good to get a good result and to get uh, a good strength of concrete so it should be used within 30 minutes so you will be satisfied from the concrete so guys these are uh, from 41 to 50 technical terms which i have discussed the front of you now wait for the next video 200 technical terms in the series of 200 technical terms part number six so this is part five is completed so in next video i will discuss 
part six so guys if you have any question related with this topic so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye